Hello guys and welcome to Play of the J. So apologies for the delayed start here as uh, we did need to remake uh, round number one but we are about ready here to get started here for our real proper round one. So stay tuned and let's get stuck into it. So guys uh, here for round one we have Erangel for you and we're seeing that the plane is going to go all the way here from Sosnovka Island all the way up to the northwest. So let's see how these teams are going to be shaping up. And we do have um, 19 of the best uh, teams here in Malaysia. Uh, of course, this is uh, all organized by Physrix Gaming. Uh, they invited all the teams that have for you uh, this evening. Unfortunately, it looks as though Silver Wolves for two weeks in a row not able to attend this one. I think they did go for round number one. So um, we're going to have to uh, see how it's going to shape up with 19 teams. Still plenty of action to to be hold and uh, already seeing that uh, everyone is here pretty smoothly but the 70 people alive I think some teams are going to be playing a little bit low on numbers here but we'll see how that shapes up just a little bit later on and we can see Quacker here already going for our military base they do love that uh, particular area we see base gaming gonna go towards the Milta power region Milta is actually going to be occupied by um, Battle Arena elites here and usually we see Frostfire actually going there. So they might be trying something a little bit different here. They did go Yasnaya in that um, round that was remade and they're heading towards uh, Yasnaya again here as uh, oh, we see Gold Army Factory, um, Minokopi Jup and also Gaventure all dropping around Georgia Pool as well. So Gold Army Factory is right smack in the middle. Gonna have to be a little bit careful how that shapes up a bit but Looks like Circle going to be going all the way to the northwest here right at the start and here in the school area here and the apartment complex it looks as though that Flash Vision and Lemon Gimme Gold here are going to be hanging out and looks like Savior going to get the roadkill on Allens there so Gang FTY not going to be in the best of shapes here as uh, they did start with only three players I do believe and looks like Dankirk also going to meet his end there and looks like M0 going to have to try and do what he can uh, by himself here in this game and it's uh, Gang FTY did win two chicken dinners last week, uh, but uh, it's going to be very difficult for them to re reproduce a, a chicken dinner here in round number one at least. Looks like Bunny Hop and Pear Pie going to be a little bit separated over here. They do have uh, Fiverin who's going to be right in between them. Mr. Pa a little bit further away in the school region here. Sepujer and Sarabix going to hang out in that south western corner of the apartment complex here. So Bunny Hop gonna have to be uh, a little bit careful. He's kind of pinned in there. He does run the risk of getting spotted out, but it looks like Physrix Gaming Oh, sorry. Yeah, Physrix Gaming gonna be here invading into uh, Red Sea's territory in Rozok. So Red Sea always characteristically coming here and they're very comfortable here with the amount of loot that they can get. But looks like Physrix Gaming uh, is still gonna try their luck here and see whether or not they can get some good loot here. And um, again, this is gonna be a little bit dicey here at the start. But uh, of course, both of these teams are already inside the zone. So they're probably gonna play it very slowly here. They don't wanna make uh, too many um, mistakes here in the early stages and lose players and uh, not only that if they can actually find a way to withdraw without uh, well either of the teams can find a way to withdraw without taking losses I'm pretty sure that they would take it because it's not going to do the teams any good uh, right at the start of the game they're using all their meds and ammo just to try and get out of it but it looks like prison here is going to have Jangs here all by himself he does have stage gaming all around this area but uh, currently he's going to be hanging out in that uh, uh, little warehouse on the edge here and see whether or not he can spot them out but looks like Jung here might be able to catch him out there as he just walks right past the doorway and looks like wasn't really aware unfortunately that uh, Young G was there camping but um, that's going to be all of Geek Fam's presence here in prison area so the rest of them are going to know what is going to be up. Savior already low on life there from uh, some of the earlier altercation. I'm not sure whether um, the Danker or Allen's managed to get a gun there, but looks like Jay-Z, Jay-Z gonna knock down Don Pablo here. And uh, Harakus also going down here for Red Sea. So Red Sea are in a bit of trouble here as uh, Physrix Gaming trying to stake their claim on Rozok right now. And now it looks like Papa Zayed here gonna be all the way in that northeastern side of Rozok. So he might do uh, a little bit of a vape vacation from this place here in just a little bit here but I think he just wants to make sure that he can withdraw carefully as well he is going to be backing out from that side here and see whether or not that he can get some good placement here 
for Red Sea. So guys, uh, this uh, series of scrims here, there are some points at stake, but it is not going to, uh, well, it's not like a proper tournament, but um, there will be prizes for the top place team after four rounds of play. And it looks like Gang FTY are gonna be taking the bow here first on straight away. And um, that's gonna be a little bit unfortunate after taking those two early road kills early on. And uh, M0 unfortunately not able to come out on top of that fight. Looks like Cerebix here are getting knocked down and Mr. Pa and the rest of Flash Vision starting to uh, turn the, the screw right now. Cerebix gonna be down and out. Looks like Sepujer gonna heal up just a little bit with the medkit as uh, we already see Fyren here trying to get maybe onto the high ground here using that middle complex to try and get a bit more vision. But currently a little bit of a standoff here. I think uh, Lemon Gaming Gold here doesn't want to make any drastic moves here. They are just outside the zone, so it can probably wait a little bit here. But Flash Vision also needs to think whether or not they actually do want to try and uh, hang in there for quite a bit. But Bunny Hawk going to uh, get some shots onto Sepujer, and I think he doesn't have a helmet left at all. So Mr. Pa going to loot up just a little bit here. And uh, now we can already see that a few teams here are going to be very happy with the circle. Minokopi Jup, Gaventure, and Gold Army Factory all very much in the center. And Genius Team also making their way inside this zone. Looks like Frostfire already sending two of their players here early south of shooting range just to try and secure some of those early spots because there's just not a lot of these outskirt type of compounds that we have here and they are usually the favorite places uh, for these teams to try and deal with a lot of teams rotating and trying to get into those very central regions inside the circle. Mr. Pog still going to be hanging out there. Pearpie actually backing out just a little bit here for Flash Vision. See whether they can actually just try and get some long range cover so that they can try and plan their withdrawal. I don't think that they do want to press the issue here if they can. They just take what they could get and Flash Vision just going to see whether they can maintain their squad strength into later stages. So seeing Battle Arena elites here making their way over from Milta already. They're running right through the Geek Fam lines here, but Geek Fam not exactly set up to try and prevent these rotations from going on here. And uh, we'll see how that might be shaping up a little bit later on. Um, but yeah, but looking at uh, the rest of these uh, players, we still see Face Gaming hanging out in Milton Power Region. I think that they should have enough vehicles available to them. Stage Gaming a little bit split after taking down Janks a little bit earlier on in the prison area. But uh, now we're already seeing that others here are starting to make their, their way into the rotation stages. The blue zone is moving. It's still four minutes left here. Now Sepujur going to just have some parting shots there towards Flash Vision. Not going to make any real connections there, but he does need to find a new helmet and him and Fyvern are going to have to really think about what they're going to do. But Flash Vision, now they move inside the zone, inside school, so they can afford to put some shots there. And uh, we're already seeing that others here, there's going to be o &E Esports here, also still not making their moves just yet, but they're not too far outside the zone here. But looks like uh, Physics Gaming and Physics Esports here going at it together here. And it looks like uh, Jay-Z, Jay-Z going to get taken down here. And Hickey got knocked down as well here, but looks like he's going to get res by KM. And Dinosaur going to loot up just a little bit here. As um, currently Awa, Awang and X-Fang here. Going to be moving in here with a vengeance. Trying to see whether they can avenge Jay-Z Jay-Z's death here. But looks like they're taking quite a bit of fire. They all arrived in the same vehicle here. So they are still quite narrow. They don't have a lot of angles. KM is going to get exposed quite a bit there to Awang. But he's just not able to put the final blows there onto him and uh, KM still taking some hits himself there as currently Hickey and Dinosaur starting to move around the side here and get a little bit more angle. KM manages to get off the full heal here. Now X-Fang here going to try and land more shots. He lands a couple onto Dinosaur right here but it looks like he doesn't pick up uh, 11 not 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 here and that's gonna be it there for X-Fang and now it looks like Bizzard's Gaming not in a good position here. It's Awang and uh, how I'm gonna have to try and make do with the current situation. Hickey also trying to put some shots in that direction. So now it looks like their uh, mission of getting some revenge here is going horribly wrong. They lost another player. And now Physrix Gaming gonna be losing Awang here pretty soon. I'm not sure that Awat is gonna be able to do too much in this situation. But now others are on the move here as well. We're already seeing that Spinning Fighter here putting some shots onto ONE Esports here as they're trying to rotate through this uh, farmland area. But looks like they're just a little bit too far away. Altaro only having the UMP to try and put some shots there in that instance. So now it looks like uh, Neuro Aini here starting to make 
her way over as well as uh, she's going to be carrying one of the other teammates there from Stadium Fighter. But now it looks like Geek Fam here making their rotation here a bit late. Um, they are tri uh, just outside the zone here at the moment. Grace Gaming also making their way along the eastern side of Erangel taking blue damage but they did wait to loot up quite a bit so that's going to help them in terms of the med situation and uh, should be able to tank the blue damage just okay. Fyvern here is still uh, going to be in the apartment complex. He's actually realized he needs to back out here with that position that Flash Vision has. It's not going to be easy for them to try and get out. But uh, they are going to still maneuver their ways anyways, as we do already see that um, they are starting to withdraw a little bit further away. Sepujur managing to make it in there. And it looks like Awa getting taken down. So it looks like that's going to be it there for Bizrix Gaming. And uh, I think that was uh, a new sound effect, if not mistaken, there with the new update. So... Uh, a little bit interesting here. So we'll have to see later on whether or not that uh, we're going to get Vic Candy starting to be introduced into the map pool here for the scrims. That for the longest part for competitive play, we've been seeing uh, pretty much just Erangel and Miramar. Uh, of course, that may be just a little bit too small to have some tactical competitive play. But uh, interested to really see how uh, things are going to shape up with Vic Candy, um, especially how it will be shaping up if they start to use um, sports uh, settings. Accordingly, because I think the loot, team, uh, loot drop rate is a little bit different from the rest of the maps, so is the circle. But of course, when you play esports mode, you don't really have to worry too much about that, but that's usually calibrated very much for Erangel and also Miramar. But yes, looking at this, Vengeance now in a bit of a uh, pickle in a way here. Alan Lambu is the only player here. And he's taking some shots there from Quacker after having moved all the way there from Sosnovka Island. And uh, now it looks like Vengeance here going to start uh, grouping up here in that compound. But it looks like Quacker here not willing to hang out there. Skyrex taking a little bit of a knock there. Now Circle shifting here. And a lot of these teams just making their way in just now might be able to time it nicely here. As currently there's a... a uh, I, would, I wouldn't say it's a huge... Well, actually it's more of a drastic change than not. And uh, now... As you can see, not many teams here right in the center. Just Genius Team already taking that position before through Nazi and Co. Uh, so the rest are going to have to try and find their spots. But Venture already has a nice spot here. They will be able to shoot at a lot of teams here in rotation. But all these teams coming here a little bit later on, I think yeah, everyone is on the screen at the moment, um, will allow them to try and move here while everyone else is in rotation. But they have to be careful about these uh, series of bridges here over the, the river because that's going to be a little bit detrimental for some of them, I would feel, if they're not too careful or have not thought too much about um, whether or not other teams have managed to move into those positions yet already. But now everyone's starting to make their way in here. Vengeance really running through a lot of teams here, but uh, not a lot of them actually set up to try and tackle these kind of rotations going on here. Nice little wheelie there from Alan Lembu and uh, Gold Army Factory in particular not taking some of those shots just yet. But now Revax here going to be uh, taking this position here. He's the only player for Frostfire. He's going to actually be bugging out here. He's got Geek Fam on one side and also you know, one of the other Geek Fam players, Modi, on the other. So just going to have to be a little bit careful. But Alan Lembu has paved the way a little bit here for the rest of his teammates. He has managed to find a decent way through there and uh, Jay Muse here are actually taking quite a few hits a little bit earlier on so uh, that's a little bit uh, um, safe uh, well I mean it's good in the sense that his uh, vehicle smoking and not smoldering so but I think that could all change here as you can see Jay Muse actually getting taken out as he runs into battle arena elites here Mune able to skate with his life just there and um, looks like uh, that's going to be one of the hazards there that you might be seeing here. Frostfire engaging with Geek Fam and it looks like um, Geek Fam taking quite a couple uh, a couple more losses here. And I think there's only going to be uh, Mahdi who's going to be left alive here as the rest of Frostfire backing up Revax right now. And they're able to move into this position. Mahdi going to have to try and play some placement here. And Geek Fam, I think they were in second position coming into... Um, into this round. As uh, as mentioned, we do have some points here. There are just going to be some token prizes for the, the top ranked team after four rounds of play. This is round number three as uh, all the points will be accumulated. So Geek Fam, I think, are in second position here. Um, but I have to recheck on the standings there. But we head over to Physics 
updating and make sure you like the page to be kept in the know of how the results are going to be going. But I will be also posting up the results when they're available on the um, Play of the J page as well. So anyways, getting back to the game guys, um, as we can see things are getting very crowded here. Battle Arena at least actually does have vision on some of these players here from Genius Team and currently going to disable some of their vehicles here as they do want to try and make it as difficult as possible for them to have a speedy rotation um, which will um, no, no doubt help Battle Arena at least, especially if they do want to try and move through uh, the zone here as currently they're not too central they probably both have to make their way down south here just to try and get in but now it looks like Benjis here disabling the vehicles of crossfire now at the moment now they did go for that loot drop there at the moment and uh, for the most part they should be okay Mox is quite quite close to them in fact here so he just has to be a little bit mindful does he want to really engage heavily here so this smoke's going out on both sides here it looks like mox here it's trying to see whether or not he can take down the vehicle just a little bit here but mox taking some flank shots there third party action coming in from battle arena elite so he's in a bit of a difficult spot but they can um yeah, at least Mox can rest easy for a little bit here unless he starts to move out and presents a good angle but he's gonna make his way over here and see whether or not he can get away from further damage being dealt but looks like Circle is actually gonna shift up north here so most of the teams I would say are gonna be quite happy with uh, these developments here but Mox looks like he's not gonna get too far here Adol gonna pick him off at range but he's able to get behind some cover but looks like the angle is still against him and uh, looks like he's gonna get finished off there. Alan Lembu and Mune gonna have to try and make do with this current situation. But now we're already seeing Quacker here moving in from the edge here as uh, Frostfire really has to fight on all fronts here. Currently no, no one is too close. Battle Arena at least gonna be quite close to Genius Team but at least they know where they are at the moment and Minokopi Job starting to make their way in. Minokopi Job if not mistaken is leading currently after two rounds of play so let's see whether or not they're gonna get those consistent results and um, now we're seeing Genius Team having actually uh, some home invasion coming in the form of uh, Lemon Gimme Gold here after they managed to finally withdraw all the way from that school side um, after they were being put under lots of pressure by Flash Vision early on in the game. But now Fiverr in here, going to start moving in here. Usui here doesn't look like he's going to be in a fantastic spot here. I think he's getting ready to actually jump outside the window here as uh, currently they are starting to clear the building. And Usui here going to be turning in the, the wrong moment there, but he's still able to uh, finish off uh, Sepuger. So Fiverr really going to have to do this alone for here for Lemon Gaming Gold. And uh, now looks like Genius Team does have two of their players still up, remaining a little bit further away. Now, from the looks of things here, other teams are making their way in. Flash Vision opting to stay quite late there uh, near the Pachinki side here after holding up in school for quite some time here. And uh, currently, we will be seeing that uh, actually the two players here from Stadium Fighter are going to be making their way in as well. Stadium Fighter having a bit of a split here might be to hedge uh, some of the bets here but I think we did see that Asfar and Neural Aine were moving out uh, separately a little bit early on in the Gekka region but now looks like we have Physrix Esports here starting to duke it out and catch the Flash Vision guys but not before they actually took a, a big road hit right there but looks like Bunny Hop is going to meet his end Pear Pie and Mr. Pa I think are or no it's just Pear Pie. Uh, Mr. Pa is still alive but he's actually on the other side of Watertown right now so a little bit um, disjointed unfortunately there for Flash Vision I think they didn't anticipate that there would be a team there um, residing there but of course we have got those two main strategies that uh, teams can employ go in the center of the circle or play on the edge here as we did see um, Physics Esports starting to play out but now looks like Quacker here moving to the base of the mountain here and they're actually facing pressure here from Gaventure. Gaventure actually having a little bit of a 2-2 split here they're going to cover a lot more ground and um, it's going to be difficult for any of these teams to try and get through here. Quacker, if they need to move over here in the future circles, it's going to be a very difficult proposition. Face Gaming going to be taking this bridge here as well. So any of these guys here are still going to be facing quite a number of uh, potential problems here if they're not too careful. But looks like Circle going to firmly ship up north here and we're going to see a lot of migration coming out. Only a few teams going to be inside the Circle Battle Arena Elites. Um, Frostfire... 
Geek Fam all going to still be still be inside with those uh, very good positions here. But now it looks like we're seeing Fisher Esports starting to move out. But they might be able to catch Mr. Pa here. Pear Pie going to still be on the other bank here. But they have to be careful. There is still going to be face gaming. They have not quite set up a roadblock but they are all lying in wait but they are already attracting fire there from ONE Esports here as they do spot them out a little bit here and it looks like Rascal here gonna get caught out there by ONE Gate as he was lying on the, the rocks there but looks like some return fire going to give them a little bit more breathing room they're gonna have to see whether or not they can help him out or not but looks like Rascal gonna fall inside the water and I think that that's gonna be it there for him but Mr. Pa is gonna be pretty close as well as the rest of the physics gaming guys are also still making their swim but they have got quite a lot of congestion here that they have to be a little bit mindful of uh so we're gonna see other teams here gonna see whether or not they can fill the spaces here but gold army factory gonna run straight towards battle arena at least i don't know whether they know much about it here but nine holy gonna be all the way down here loki's not able to seal the deal there and to nine holy with just 12 hp left here able to take down one of the players right there and looks like rain zara actually taking a fall there um and uh, he actually get got taken out there by quacker starting to move inside this position and looks like just like that we see stadium fighter actually wiping out with just two players uh the only esports players now uh, on the other side of things here they are putting pressure on the cracker here trying to get inside or inside the circle here just get it across but fours in here getting caught out up looks actually drives the car inside the water right now now skyra is just trying to do whatever he can to try and get some uh covering fire here for the rest of his team but looks like battle arena at least really going at it with the bull army factory here batman gets taken down here but not before he takes down kmf1 and nine holy and now there's only going to be Sophia that's left here. Looks like Flash Vision though going to get eliminated here as he runs right back into Wizards Gaming here. And now we're already seeing that middle puppy job here putting pressure here onto Sophia. I think it's not only going to be a matter of time here before he is going to get taken out a little bit here. And uh, looks like the angle not going to work in his favor and he gets taken down. But now elsewhere we see that Fistrix Gaming here putting pressure onto Face Gaming here. Zach getting knocked down here. Sef Sarah Veeam here moving a little bit onto the high ground. But he gets caught out by Kayim. And uh, Hickey also contributing in that one. Chi just trying to get some shots off while Zach gets his heals. And see whether or not Face Gaming can try and withdraw from this position. But currently they do have the circle here. So it might be a bit of a shooting gallery here. Chi currently trying to get some shots onto Hickey. But the rest are starting to come around the side here and already cross over so Sarah Veen here trying to move into position but still taking quite a bit of fire here Zach just trying to watch out for Hickey but the rest of Physics Gaming here moving inside this zone and now it looks like Adventure here has managed to navigate their way over here but they're facing pressure here from Frostfire really going at it as they take that higher ground position here and uh, let's see whether or not Frostfire looking strong so far. Four players still up with four kills on the board. They did win round one of uh, last week's games, guys. So we'll see how that turns out. But it looks like she going to get caught out here by 11 Nanak here. And now it looks like it's going to be Zach here to try and do it all by himself. But looks like he gets taken out. And it's a killing spree by um, Physics Esports. So nice addition there for the custom game notifications here as you can hear all the sound effects it looks like that we saw uh in the kill feed that uh city fighter was taken out there so unfortunately wasn't able to catch that one physics gave me here with 10 kills already on the board and it looks like circle here going to be shaping up here right in the center and uh frostfire going to be quite happy with that vengeance here hank going to hang out on the northern side here not really going to be too worried about that but hickey going to get taken down by the blue zone so it looks like physics uh, esports here going to be without one of their team members um, but they did take quite a few names so not a, a bad trade but of course when you get to the late game like this here this is not exactly how you want things to pan out here but Gold Army Factory are being assaulted here right now by Minnow Copy Chop Rosox D moving in Darkus is knocking down a uh, holy nine holy already and dreams already being down here there's only gonna be one player left up right now and looks like KMF1 Going to try and get out of here, but looks like he's going to go right past Genius Team here. And uh, I'm not sure that he's going to be able to do much, but he's got like one HP left here. 
and Joker XP here, probably going to try and see what he can do. Revax here getting the nice AWM shot there onto Minocopy uh, Jop there. So it looks like Esco Rex going to get finished off there and weren't able to do much. I think he did manage to land a, a second successive hit here. But Quacker here is in trouble in the southwestern side as they're just not able to get inside the zone. They're just too many teams having very good vantage points and um, Venture. Uh, Minokopi job, all not making it easy. Gold Army Factory, I think KMF1 has his own problems right now. But looks like Mahdi gets found out here. And Gatefam going to get eliminated in 12th place here. Skyrex also going to be uh, getting eliminated here. And looks like Quacker is going to be out as well for round number one. And uh, looks like we're down to 10 teams left here. Minokopi job moving inside this compound. And it looks like Kade here trying to fend them off here as they're just trying to hang out on for Dear life here for Genius Team, but it looks like Kate here going to get taken down by K-Bytes. And uh, now Joker X and KMF1 is also here for Gold Army Factory. So if these guys are not careful, they might run into these uh, two opposing players here. But it looks like Darkus here going to go for the nade. It might be decent here for taking down Joker, but he moved into the corridor there in expectation of that move. So now he's going to have something new there. But uh, looks like Rosikasti going to hang back get some angle there onto the window. I think they know Joker X is there. He's gonna have to try and bug out just a little bit more and see whether or not he can get a little bit more breathing room. But uh, he's gonna have to continue to try and evade these nades here. And KMF1 is also nading him. He's getting naded by two different teams here at the same time. And KMF1 just gonna hang out there. But now it looks like Minokopi Chop moving in here to try and seal the deal onto Joker. It looks like he's gonna burn. And that's going to be it there. But KMF1 still going to be alive here. And uh, Adventure here putting pressure onto Lemon Gaming Gold here in the south. They did... Uh, I think one of the Fisher Esports players got knocked down by Adventure here. If not mistaken, Chilrex landing some of those long-range shots in that direction. But now he's just trying to find out where Fibren is. I think that he what, did show himself a little bit early on. He's going to be lying prone for the time being. See whether or not he, he can get away at the moment here in that southern side of the circle. But... Looks like Circle here going to shift a little bit here to the northeast and looks like Frostfire going to be in a very good spot here and uh, really going to have very good command over the area here. It's just that maybe Vengeance and Red Sea might have that high ground. Now it looks like Stage Gaming here already recognizing what might actually transpire and they're actually moving into a better position themselves but looks like Physics Esport here is also going to be moving in a similar uh, manner right now. Stage Gaming here moving all the way around the edge of the circle here. They might be able to spot out Papa Zayat here. He's currently lying prone there just by the tree and uh, just going to hold that position. He's just inside the circle here. Now, Vengeance here might get spotted out here, but Yong here not going to be able to see them just yet. And Papa Zayat here going to open up and now looks like um, Young does know that he is going to be there. But Papa Zayat here not going to jump up just yet here and expose himself, but he's one nade away from... Oh, taking some serious damage here. But looks like Young going to be able to use that moment here to get up and get the shots off. So it looks like Red Sea here going to go out in 10th position, but not before he takes down one of the stage gaming guys here. So now looks like Frostfire going to be very well aware of his presence there. But Minokopi Chop trying to move in here, but Darkus here not being in the best of spots here, taking some shots from NJRX. Vibrant taking the opportunity to start to move in and KMF1 revealing himself. But looks like NJRX going to get shot in the back there by Rosex D, but he's going to get taken down in turn by Afam. And uh, now Afam going to see whether he can move in to save NJRX right now. Looks like Minokopi Jap only has two players left up here, but K-Bytes not looking like he's going to be rest here anytime soon. Uh, KMF1 here getting spotted by Frostfire. Revax here going to take down Dinosaur there for from Ezric. Physrix Esports, and uh, now Chilrex is going to be in a bit of a spot himself. Darkus is going to be the last player left here for Minokopi Jump, hiding out behind the loot crate here. Does offer quite a little bit of cover, and not always will players be expecting to see someone from that here. But now he's going to rotate around the side here. Afam already can kind of guess what might actually happen here. He's going to watch the flank here. Well, uh, Chilrex is still down at the moment. He's still able to offer some kind of scouting information there for his teammates as uh, he starts to crawl a little bit closer here. NJRX is going to pop out the smoke here. And Darkus here exposing himself there. But looks like uh, 
so shots are gonna go through the smoke there from NJRX and looks like 11 Nanak here gonna try and see whether or not he can get some view. It looks like KM here might have had some vision there but he's taking a lot of fire there from Frostfire but looks like Alpha I'm gonna finish him off and uh, Gold Army Factory still in this game here with KMF1 still surviving. I don't know how he managed to evade detection there for so long but now let's see how it's gonna be shaping up. KMF1 gonna... I'm not sure he's going to be happy with that because Gavenger here probably going to move through here anyways and it looks like they spot him out and the Alpha I'm going to finish him and the rest Gold Army Factory but now it looks like Frostfire here able to really see how everything is transpiring here and have quite a good path inside the circle here. Thing is they might be involved in a fight with Stage Gaming a little bit later on here and not only that this is all the presence of the teams in the south side here still 15 alive quite a lot and Vengeance also can stab them in the back here they're currently just hanging on the side here but Alan Lembu might be able to spot out Sim and Young but currently they don't have uh, any idea that Alan Lembu is going to be hanging out in this position they're just going to boost up a little bit more while they prepare for this fight but currently looks like Byron here making full use of the smokes here as uh He's just going to try and survive very close to Physics Esports for the time being. But now it looks like things are heating up. Sim M here getting taken down there. And uh, looks like Alan Lembu going to pick up a pair of kills there. And he's... Or no, he takes down one. I think uh, Young is backed out a little bit for the time being here. But looks like uh, Fiverr in here going to get spotted out there. And now the circle is on the move. Chillrex and the rest of Gaventure here are going to hang out with the three players that they have still remaining here. And 11 Nanak here going to be putting down NJRX. Not before Chillrex. And Alpham get some shots back onto him. KM top one. Or sorry, just KM now. He's going to be hanging out there. But looks like Gaventure here going to seal the kill there. And they get a few kills now. Killing spree for Frostfire. <laughs> I'm not sure I can get used to um, these new notifications. But uh, we'll run with it. And Mune actually taking down the rest of stage gaming there. So looks like Vengeance here doing Frostfire quite a bit of a favor here. But Revax here with another kill onto KM and I think he's the must be the kill leader here. I didn't see any other player kill notifications here. So now is Frostfire versus Vengeance as they try to duke it out. But looks like Frostfire might be able to repeat last week here. But Mune is gonna have something to say about that here as he's covering this side here. But he's gonna be caught out just a little bit here. Revax here gonna be able to take him down there. Teddy getting caught out there. Now it's a two on one situation. And um, Alan Lembu not quite able to take down the last two players. And it looks like that is gonna be it there as uh, Frostfire able to take the first round here of the evening in round number three of the Physrix uh, Gaming Invitational PUBG Scrim. So leading the way for Frostfire, it is going to be Revax here with six kills on the board. So he's able to get a nice little boost there from that loot crate, getting the AWM and able to bring it home. Grizzom backing him up with four kills as well. In second place it is going to be Team Vengeance, able to stay alive at the northern side of the circle there and able to really put a dent into stage gaming right there as Mune and Ellen Lembu combining there to really prevent them from moving up but stage gaming a little bit separated there and uh, weren't going to be able to push up the, the hill just like that but um, in third place we do have Physrix Esports able to get third position here getting a nice top five uh, finish here KM getting six kills in the process here 11 Nana gonna get um, four kills as well so good, looking pretty good for them Stage Gaming here going to be getting two kills uh, through Young and able to get that fourth spot there. They looked uh, strong in terms of the, the squad strength there, but unfortunately it was not. Uh, they were going to get picked off by multiple different teams. And in fifth place to round up the top five, it is going to be Gaventure. And it looks like Afam going to lead the way with the five kills there. And they had... Uh, things relatively under control in the southern side of the circle. Unfortunately, they also had been pulled in too many different directions by the surrounding teams. So guys, that is going to be it for, for round number one. So thank you so much for watching. I much appreciate it. And big thanks to all the, the shares and the likes so far. Um, we will be taking that short break. And when we return, we'll bring to you round number two on Miramar. Your, 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 your.